Hello there, I'm Charlie, aka Ronan Logan X, and this is Ronan Logan X Reviews. In this video, I'm taking a look at the Kyle Rayner Green Lantern figure from the DC Multiverse toy line by McFarlane Toys. Now to start things off, I wanted to say that Kyle Rayner is my favorite of the Green Lanterns. So when I saw this figure announced, I was pretty excited. And now that I have it in hand, I have to say it does not disappoint. So let's check it out. Starting with accessories, he comes with his Green Lantern battery, a green energy sword construct, and a Build-A-Figure piece for Atrocitus of the Red Lanterns. In the comics, Kyle Rayner is known for his awesome and elaborate ring constructs due to him being an artist, a freelance graphic artist to be more specific. So while I would have loved to have seen his package loaded up with a whole bunch of awesome and uniquely designed ring constructs, this is still a fairly nice assembly of accessories. His Green Lantern power battery looks just like it does in the comics, although I would have liked for it to have been made of a mix of solid and the clear plastic, but that's just a very nitpicky thing on my part in regards to a visual aesthetic. His sword, on the other hand, is fantastic all around, in my opinion. It has a very anime feel to its design, which is very in character for Kyle Rayner, I think. Moving on to articulation, this figure comes with all of the articulation you would expect out of a DC Multiverse figure. I found him very easy to pose and place in any position I wanted out of him for the most part. The only real issue I've had in regards to the articulation has to do with his feet, which is a reoccurring issue, if I'm being honest, with the DC Multiverse line. And that issue is that he's very wobbly and is prone to fall down. I think this might be due to a combination of both the design of the shape of the feet as well as the looseness of the joints on the ankles. But it's an issue that is greatly mitigated by the fact that they package pretty much all of their figures with a stand. So it's nowhere near a deal-breaking offense. Now, there's no likeness to take a look at as this is a comic book-based figure. So I'm just going to give some of my thoughts regarding the look of this character, i.e. his costume, his hair, etc., and the first place to start is the easiest place. I think this looks pretty darn awesome. Now, I have to confess, I haven't really read any recent Green Lantern comics in a while. Most of my fandom for this character comes from the late 90s and the early 2000s. So I'm not really sure if this is an accurate to comics costume on him. However, it looks great and it has that Kylo Rayner feel to me. The most important thing is that his mask looks right. Because I want to say that as far as the rest of the costume goes, Kyle Rayner has always been one to constantly change it throughout his history, sometimes between very short spans of time. So with all of that said, I would give this figure a high recommendation. This is one of those rare instances where all of my complaints regarding a McFarlane figure are so very minor that I feel kind of guilty even just mentioning them. So I think it's safe to say that I don't think you can go wrong picking this one up. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have found it helpful and informative in any decisions you might have regarding the purchase of this figure. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like, please comment, please subscribe, and ring that bell icon if you would like to be notified about any of my future videos. Also, if you might be interested in anything else of mine, you can find me on Instagram at RonanLoganX where I post toy photography pictures as well as puppy pictures of my pup Ripley. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.